Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to install the Berkeley Open Infrastructure for Network Computing or short Boink. It's a distributed computing software to our Raspberry Pi Zero board we have right here. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, I have to go to the menu. If you haven't done this yet, then please do it on um, preferences. I am going to Raspberry Pi configuration to extend the micro SD card um, storage just in case it runs out of space. So I'm going to click expand file system right here. And there we go. The next step I'm going to do is change the host name here. I'm going to put on um, zero there. This is because um, in the Boink project that is the name of the computer that will be shown. So now finish, I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to reboot the Raspberry Pi so it takes uh, sorry, I forgot to press place back. So it takes up the the new space. Yes, turn the space to shut down and I would like to reboot. See if it um, works. There we go. And okay. Once it reboots, I am going to be installing the debug software in the Raspberry Pi Zero. So it boot up right now. So I'm going to menu right here. I'm going to accessories. Um, for preferences, okay, yes, it, it wasn't preference, sorry. On in preferences, add or remove software. And here. I'm going to look for Boink. I press enter. It is loading the, the packages. It can be slow, remember that the Raspberry Pi Zero is single core computer. It is not like the Raspberry Pi 2 or 3, which are quad core. So it can take up um, some time. A few seconds. And here we have it. So I'm going to right click it. I'm going to select install package to limit a package for point client and manager. And now it is simple. I just press OK here. The OK button right there. And once we click it, it will show us um, this. I'm going to authenticate it. The password for Raspberry Pi is Raspberry uh, Pi. Uh, raspberry. Yeah, the password is Raspberry. Now it is unloading the packages. 
Let's wait up a few seconds while it download the packages. You can see the Raspberry Pi Zero and the Ethernet adapter here. They are working. And that's connected to the to that up there. That's the that is not that is a router, but that is acting as a bridge to the main um, to the main router. It's installing, let's wait a few seconds. It's installed, it now installed again. It finished downloading and now it is installing. Changes. Instant packages. Once again. How many changes? Once again. And there we go, it finished. Now we go to menu, that is in system tools right there. And here you can see going from here. So I'm going to launch it. And here it is. We have successful installed going in our Raspberry Pi Zero. Now it's up to you to add the projects that you want to participate and put your Raspberry Pi Zero to crunch and do something useful so this concludes this this video i hope you like it uh -huh. if you did please like this video share it with your friends um, comment on it and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching